Hey guys, I'm Doug here. This morning at about uh, five o'clock, I left my house. I drove four, four and a half hours north. I have a uh, portage about an hour into my secret lake here. And I've been paddling for a couple hours. So I've got about another hour left to go and uh, I should hit my uh, camp or the place that I want to camp. I have seen another person already today, which is, uh, that's too bad. I kind of like it how to myself, but, uh, anyway, I've been fighting the urge so badly to, uh, start casting, fishing, but, uh, I really got to get to camp and get a camp set up because they're calling for thunderstorms today, actually today and tomorrow. So, uh, it should be good, but. So yeah, I gotta get I gotta get a camp set up. Maybe get some firewood before I can do any fishing. But uh, it's gonna come, rain or shine. Perfect. This is my uh, my base for the weekend. Right up in those pines up there. Awesome. We'll see what uh, what surprises uh, await this year. This is the same as my uh, video from last year of the solo fishing trip. And uh, last year somebody actually built a swing. So, the swing is still there. And making a landing before the thunderstorm. That's awesome. There we go. I'm just whipping up a, a quick, uh, more of a rain shelter for my stuff. The uh, my shelter is only the inner nest of my tent, so it's all open. So it's going to sit underneath here. This is the fire pit right here, but. Uh, In case it starts raining, I'm gonna be ready. Well, that's that. I didn't even make it uh, 10 steps to the canoe since I last picked up the camera, and the rain is coming. Well, it's just spitting, so it's uh, GoPro and uh, fishing with a light drizzle. No big deal. I can't sit under a tarp. Third cast. Right against this rocky edge over here. Nice. First fish of the trip. Not too bad. two for about three minutes so it's gonna be a good weekend I heard the uh, the thunder rolling Hear that? So I think I'm just gonna head back to camp and uh, whip up a quick easy lunch so that's what I'm gonna do Well, I did get out and uh, got a couple nice little bass, but there's thunder in the air, so I want to stay close to uh, camp, but my stomach was eating itself, so I thought, might as well come back right now, have something to eat, see if it blows over, but it's going to make up a couple of uh, these wraps with cheese and 
summer sausage. A little bit of dirt never hurt nobody. Well. You know, it's a trip like this that the uh, this firebox really shines because it's a uh, it's a heavy heavy stove, but on a canoe trip, it's not that important and. Uh, you know, say it's a it's a storm. I could keep myself busy just playing with this at night instead of a campfire, no problem. But for right now, let me get some coffee water on, and uh, still gotta get out and get some firewood at some point. But for now, it's coffee. Well, it looks like the uh, storm was blowing over. A little bit of rain still, but uh, time to get some firewood. I'm gonna go over here across the lake, grab some wood. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Feels a little bit, you see the, the punk on there? But that's solid in there. See that? That's beautiful. Solid wood, so. Here's my stick. Just chop her down and uh, bring her back. Yeah, a steak to cook tonight, so uh, I want some hardwood, so that works out good. Well, I got the wood all in, and uh, I must have had a brain fart. I think I call that wood elm. It's as oak as oak can be, just to be clear. Um, so I got wood for tonight. I haven't set up my little uh, my bed yet, but uh, I'm going to leave that to the last minute. My intentions are, if it calms down, to pull the tarp back tonight and have a decent fire. I brought a steak, and uh, so I won't be eating fish today. Fish is tomorrow. And uh, but right now, while it's nice out, I think I'm just going to go exploring. I'm going to bring the little GoPro and my fishing rod and uh, just go goof around for a couple hours of peace and quiet. And There's a bunch of back, back little inlets, and, and uh, this is all islands here, so I can go scooting back through here. So. Let's go for a little canoe and uh, throw a few casts. I inhaled a, a mosquito in the bush and it's just... Right in the lily pads. Uh -oh. huh. That's not too shabby. Oh, wacky worm. Nice. So, this lake is full of uh, bass. But uh, there's also pickerel or walleye and uh, musky. No pike and uh, musky are, are pretty rare. I would never uh, try to even bother targeting them. But uh, lots of bass and pickerel. But you know the bass are in uh, 
you kind of know where they are but uh, for the pickerel they're kind of a little bit different animal and uh, if I see a rock face or something that looks a little bit deeper I can uh, throw a jig in so we'll probably come up to a few spots like that so I'll just alternate between the, the wacky worm mostly bass and the jig will catch bass but uh, I can also get it down deeper and try and get a, a pickerel so just keep putting away Look at that sky again. The weather went from nice and sunny right back to overcast and feeling like rain again. Crazy day. Company. Here's one. Oh. 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 So bad. Huh. I'll give her a cast in here too. Oh, got one. The little guy. Just a little fella. Yeah. Just a little fella. So it is right now 625. That sky is looking nasty over there. I'm gonna have to head back. But just not yet. I didn't bring my raincoat either. Like a dummy. Oh, the runner. Okay. Good. Oh, that's a better one. For sure. Wow. The jumper. Wow. Look at that. It's nice bass. I'm giving up. I gotta get back and uh, get a fire going. I'm gonna beat the rain to camp and uh, cook myself a steak. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are you eating steak when you got so many fish out here? But here's the truth of the matter is I like steak. And if you have raised five kids like myself, seven in the family, and you want to eat a $10 steak, that's $70 worth of steak. So you save your steak for a treat. And that's why I'm eating steak tonight treat just for me oh, not, not too big but it's a fighter that one I go back home to your mama Get a little bit bigger those are those uh those cranes. I 
they're really noisy every year this time of year Well, I got back to camp just in the nick of time. I'm gonna have to wait to uh, to make my big fire to get some coals for my steak because I gotta keep the tarp where it is because uh, <laughs> I'll get wet. So hopefully it just passes over, but uh, she's coming in hard. It was raining, the rain stopped again, but. She's doom and gloom. on those stakes, this tarp would be gone. He's a thinker. He's a thinker. Well, that seems to be really calming down now. Alright. That was, uh, that was fantastic. Wow, what a storm. That blew through here. I'm telling you, the, the way that that tarp was bending in the back of my head here, if I didn't have rocks on those stakes, I would be everything would be soaked. So that was great. What a hoot! If I had done a couple more casts out there, I would have been stuck. And that would have been nasty. It's much better now. <laughs> what people don't understand. You sit through the power of an awesome storm just to be rewarded with the, the beauty of the aftermath. I wouldn't trade this for nothing. What a great night. Time to get a fire going. I've uh, raised the tarp here with a big stick so hopefully uh, I can gauge the the height of the fire and not uh, not take out my uh, my tarp but uh, yeah it's time to get this fire going so no more fooling around just gonna put a little bit of time on here and then I can gauge the height of the fire to the tarp but should be fine
I get some oak on there after we get her going and uh, yeah, we'll have a nice little campfire yet. Nice. Some warmth in me. These mosquitoes out of here too. Moment of truth. It's so good. It's so good. Wow. What a day. What a great day. Great way to end it. I'm just going to keep on eating. It's almost bedtime. Well, I am zipped up with my little bug baby, and uh, we're going to call her a day. So, I will see you guys in the morning, and sleep to the little pitter-patter of the, the rain. It's morning. Very, uh, very overcast morning. It looks like it's gonna rain, but looks like I'm gonna have some coffee. That's what I'm gonna do. Breakfast this morning is uh, oatmeal and a ham steak and some coffee so. well it's uh, it's only like 8 o'clock in the morning the uh, winds starting to pick up a little bit and uh, today's plan is I want to jump a lake over here and catch a whack of bass but that can be this afternoon even but uh, I'm just curious what uh, what the weather's going to roll in this morning yet, but up on the hill over here, I saw a uh, someone cut a pine stump up a couple feet high. So I think I'm going to go get myself a little piece of it. I brought some carving stuff, and uh, I think I'm just going to sit and uh, whittle away this morning a little bit, just for fun. So let's go get that piece of wood. Yeah, I saw this uh, here and I thought that's going to be perfect. Maybe I'll try my hand at a, a little wood spirit or something. I'll just cut this off here and...
Yeah, a little wood spirit. Well, I've got my uh, my log here. A little hatchet, a mora, and my carving kit. So I think I'm just going to uh, probably do like a wood spirit face on here. So I'll bring you in from time to time, but uh, I won't make you watch the whole thing. That's what carving and coffee's for. So I'm just gonna sit here. Enjoy the view, enjoy the morning, whittle, and uh, if I don't get done this morning, I'll do it tonight, finish tonight, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to relax until I'm done relaxing, so. Okay, can you see that? Got the bark all cut out a little bit up here. So it's kind of nice to carve. There's uh, there's fat wood in there and little red streaks. So it'll be interesting to uh, to see how uh, the face turns out. But we're off. Well, we're getting there. To start, some eyes put in here, fairly deep. Gonna work on taking away the nose and the mustache going. We're getting there. Well, the uh, the sun is coming out, so it's looking pretty good. But kind of having fun with this guy. I've got the uh, the cheeks done, the eyes. Just getting ready for the mustache down here. This stuff is uh, my fingers are like mustard colored. My pants too from this uh, whatever it is on there the uh, mold or whatever it is but uh, that's where we're at so I'm gonna really dig in a big heavy mustache here maybe dig his head in a little bit more but uh, this stuff is kind of fun because it's like uh, kind of like carving an apple. It's, it's browning so I can really see all the fresh cuts, but every time I make a cut, it goes brown again. So that'll be nice after this is all done. Just let it sit for a while and just see how it all uh, darkens up. So anyway, mustache time. Well. Here's our little guy. A little change of plans. I just uh, met two brothers in a canoe and uh, we were just chatting. I told them my plans of skipping the lakes this way and uh, they said uh, there's another lake up here at the end but uh, and I kind of knew that but uh, with the water low and years past you can never get to it because you gotta go up a little creek so uh, the water is a little bit high I've got uh, my new little canoe and uh, I think I'm gonna give it a try so I gotta try and find the lake that uh, I've never been on and then uh, if it's a bust I can always pop over to my other lake but uh, either way the, fast uh, for supper Sounds like a little ominous behind us, but uh, I'll just blow over, right? Man, I love this. Taking little channels to new places. Should be fishing all along here. Actually, there's some deep holes, but this is great. You, uh, Wrong turns here. Not wrong turns, but navigating my way through this whole 100 acre marshland. So far, I haven't even had to get out of my canoe. But I'm just kind of going on a whim that I'm going in the right direction. Hopefully, not more of the same with this. in the mug. 
up in. Oh, there it goes. There's water. I'm wondering if this light goes on, but uh, right now I'm going to throw some casts out here and see if there's any fish in this lake after working so hard to get here. Cast number one. cast to get that. It's a good start. Maybe that angle will work better. It's uh oh it's talking. Okay. Now we got the forecast in. This little fella. Real little fella. In the boat. Get out. Little guy. All right. This could be a lot of fun today. Yes, I realize your view is me, but. Oh, look at that. It's this little guy again. Scrappy little fellas. Look at these little guys. have one. Oh god. Normally I can see the uh, the line move but that feels a little better than the last couple little fellas. Oh spit that worm again. They're gonna eat me out of worms today. Wow. Oh it is a lot better. Is it Doug? I can't see it. I know you can't see it. It's sick. There. size fish or different things. I'm running right now uh, about 50% fish to cast rate so it's pretty good. Oh there's another one. For sure. Wow. Nice. Get another worm. Alright, look. Nice fish. Real nice fish. So, alright, I'm just going to keep fishing and playing. 
and uh, I'll just bring you back if something changes. Well, this is new. I like to say it came out of nowhere, but I knew it was coming. I just wasn't ready when it came. Jumped uh, about an inch and a half of water out of the canoe already when I thought it was clearing up last time. And then I turned around and started pouring again, so we gotta do it again, but now I think some clear is coming, but I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, this concludes a little shower. Well, pretty much. Took the raincoat off because I don't have the. Uh, I'm wet anyway, so. Back at her. That uh, <laughs> my canoe is just full of water. I'm glad I got off the shore and just didn't sit out in the lake because that would just be too much. But it was uh, that was a downpour. See, there's blue sky over here and dark again here, so it may come again. So, so I'm just gonna get wet. That's about it. How bassy does that look? There it is. <laughs> oh. oh. There he is. the log. Bad cast. Bad cast. Doesn't matter. Fish anyway. <laughs> oh boy. Man, these are nicer ones too here. Very nice. A nice fish. All right, place your bets. You think there's one right here in this tree? Right in the corner? There is! Nice. Hello, guy. All right, well, I guess Dougie's got to be a grown-up now. There's thunder and lightning off to the side here. Yep. So I got to get back to camp. But before I get back to camp, I got to find my way back out to the other lake. So yeah, I'll probably get wet again. But forget the stupid raincoat. I feel just as wet wearing it as I do without it, so. I'll see you back at the other lake. Because it cuts to go. This is on. That is solid wall of rain coming. And that is my camp. Can I beat the rain? You see it coming from the side here? Oh boy. Almost! Almost! Well, close enough. What's the way?
weatherman know anyway? Chance of rain. I used to always say, never trust the weatherman. Just go and do what you gotta do, but I think he nailed it this weekend. Well, I think that's uh, another storm bias. I'm going to uh, gonna go pop over in the other lake over there and uh, catch a couple of bass for supper. But I don't trust it yet, so it's still going to be GoPro only. So you have to stay here, keep dry. But still a good day. lake. It's raining again, but oh well. Don't have that camera to worry about anyway. Just you. This canoe has turned out to be fantastic. I bought it off of uh, my buddy Joe. Robinette uh, Bushcraft or Joe Robinette and uh, I love it. I absolutely love this boat. With my uh, double paddle and sitting on the bottom I feel uh, I've never felt danger at all. And the waves, the storms, it's been, uh, it's been great. Carrying it in, it was so light very happy. This is a swift Adirondack pack boat and uh, it costs more money than I could ever afford but buddy Joe gave me a deal when he got his new one and uh, I'm tickled pink. It's, uh, it's a great boat. Well, the great thing is I just pick it up carry it for the portage. I haven't even unloaded the thing. So, it's great. This, I feel the sun on my back. Nice. A couple short hops and uh, here I am out in the lake. cast see what kind of lake this is Oh my goodness. Seriously? There. Another little twinkie. Oh my 
this horrible cast or not. This end is all little Twinkies. Rotating uh, wacky worms between uh, Gary Yamamoto and the Yum white ones, and uh, I'm thinking this uh, orangey one is doing far better. But they're both catching. But a little bit of earth tones better than the pure white here. Anyway, it's a beautiful afternoon. I'm going to do a little bit more exploring than fishing. And I'm going to come home with a nice little fish to eat for supper, but it's just, uh, just going to relax a little bit. It's just so hard to uh, go fishing at home again after you've been up places like this because fishing just isn't like that at home. Hard to uh, fish wacky worms in real choppy conditions because you can't really watch the line. But that's not bad. There it is. I said, holy smokes, there's a beaver dam there. And I said, there's no way there's not a fish at the beaver dam. Not the there. Thunder again. Is it gonna end? The weather is crazy. There's a fish. Yeah. A lot of them are the same, uh, roughly the same size. Seems they'll be stunted a bit. I'm just sitting here having some. Salami and jalapeno cheese. Getting hungry.
need a sail. A sail and a good rudder. I'd be flying down here. What a weekend. So much rain. This guy's about a pound and a quarter. And uh, it's gonna be two nice little plays for me for supper. Perfect. That's all I need. I got some fish crisp. Nice play. Now I, I know someone's going to ask me, this is an open old play knife. I don't like it. It's very flimsy and when it gets wet, you can't pull it out. The wood swells. So, it's pretty, but it's useless. I gotta go. Go, go, go. I'm gonna wash up those flays and uh, get back to camp. I'm home. Well, just beat the rain again. Just starting. You know, you almost get used to it. It doesn't even really matter. It's just the thunder lightning that uh, you shouldn't be out in your canoe in. Alright, let's go to our fourth thunderstorm of the day. Wow! is changing direction so it's not boating well for my tarp but it's coming down there's the sun that was a long storm I sat there for a couple hours and ended up uh, crawling in my sleeping bag and had a little nappy so Seems to have blown over, it looks like blue skies, so maybe that's the end of our thunderstorms. That's at least four today. So tomorrow is supposed to be a nice day, so maybe it's gonna start right now. So I'm gonna get a little fire going and get some supper. It is 6.30, so that's what I'm gonna do. Get some supper in me. That's good. Very good. Beautiful. Very good. Very good. That's a uh, fish crisp on there. Well, and there. Uh, Eat my fish, have some dessert, 
and uh, yeah, maybe we'll go for another paddle. It's turned out to be a beautiful evening. After today, I'll take it. Well, sometimes you gotta have a real crappy day to to enjoy a beautiful evening, and that's what this is. Just a gorgeous night. After all the thunderstorms and everything that happened today, it's just beautiful. Are you kidding me? My beautiful clouds here. Just thunder. Thunder is just rolling out of there. That better not be another thunderstorm. Wow. Sure is pretty though. Look at those clouds. Well, I guess we got time for one more storm tonight. The, uh, the lower clouds are coming across, and the nice white puffy ones are going the other way. So it's like night and day here. Okay. Look at those clouds. Wow. Holy smokes. That is amazing. But I got to get back to my camp again. Look at that. I'll stop paddling. Look at that. It's just rolling across. Just roaring. Man. Alright. Now we're digging around. Back to camp. I can't believe it. I was out having the most beautiful canoe ride, watching the clouds, and then this monster comes up and just takes over the world, and it's raining again, and there's thunder, and this is like thunderstorm number five today. Crazy. It's gonna get nasty again, and it is. 8.30 so I've got dry firewood I got a chair I'll sit right here and now we'll uh, return to our previously scheduled programming just like that it's over you know I just uh, been sitting here reflecting on the this trip and boy what a trip you know only gone a few days but uh, I've done so much today especially like today I was in three different lakes fishing I caught so many fish today uh, I'm gonna have to edit the fishing down for sure like 80% because without exaggeration for three or four casts max and I had a fish so five thunderstorms that's crazy and uh, it's just beautiful you know I carved that wood spirit this morning and it, it feels like uh, three days ago so it's been a great trip I'm gonna sit here by the fire for a little bit longer 
and uh, call her a night and then tomorrow it's uh, get up and go time so it's been a good trip really good well good morning well sun sun is bright good morning it's uh it's coffee time not much on the plans today other than uh, packing up and uh, slowly making my way out but uh, it's a beautiful morning well coffee in hand the sun is coming up bright and strong and uh, camera's getting packed away I've got uh, a couple hours of paddling an hour of portaging five hours of uh, drive home so I think uh, this is the end of the video but thanks for uh, for hanging out. It's been uh, it's been quite an adventure and uh, a really good trip, really good trip. So I will definitely be back here again. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.